there's a new think tank in town. It's officially a startup founded by uh, Armin Petschner Multari, the previous um, digital communications director for the CSU. As such, he headed their YouTube channel, which did not work out so great. Uh, his new startup or think tank is called The Republic, not Die Republik, The Republic. If you want to give a bit of the benefit of the doubt, you might say, okay, they don't want to be mistaken for belonging to Die Republikaner, a right-wing German party that was relatively big in the 1990s and can be seen as a precursor to the AfD, but that never managed to become as big because there were no crises like the financial crisis, the euro crisis or the migrant crisis. Um, back in the 1990s so yeah okay but the problem is um for example uh, just a little bit over a week ago at the party convention for the Junge Union uh, they had guest speakers from the youth wing of the Republicana so it's not like they clearly try to distance themselves from the far right anymore that much and um, Petschna is also very open in having chosen the name the Republic in order to invoke the Republican Party and also campaign styles of the United States and the UK in terms for how conservative campaign in those countries and that is more often than not especially when compared to Germany dirty also their uh, logo is a rewamped uh, eagle. The German symbol is also an eagle, but it's stylized more like, uh, well, not a proud um, thing as the German federal eagle, and more like it looks like it's a, uh, well, the mascot for sports team. Or so more like often enough, the eagle is stylized in U.S. Um, symbols with the bold uh, eagle there, and all of this just shows that this startup wants the CDU CSU to become the German Republican Party. And everybody knows how the Republican Party works nowadays, and for what the Republican Party stands for, should be afraid of that. Also out of the Jung Union, before Kurz had to step down, but while the uh, corruption inquiry regarding Ibiza was already uh, public knowledge, uh, the chair of the Jung Union, Tilma Kuban, said that CDU CSU now needs their Sebastian Kurz. So there are clear forces within the CDU CSU that want to move the party to the right. And one of the most prominent supporters of the Republic is Friedrich Merz. Uh, and Merz already said openly that he wants to run now for a third time uh, to become party chair. The first time he lost out against Annegret kram karrenbauer the second time he lost against Armin Laschet. Now we apparently think third time's a sham. Now, He's not alone. It appears that uh, the Republic gets support from the Mittelstandsunion. The Mittelstandsunion uh, means middle class union. Uh, the thing is, middle class can be translated with two German words. One is Mittelstand, with, which uh, describes small business owners and self employed people, and Mittelschicht, which is uh, how much money you earn. And this means there can also be workers or members of the Mittelschicht that wouldn't usually be translated as working middle class, uh, while they can't obviously be members of the Mittelstand. So already the Mittelstand supporting this group shows that they are close to the employers and not the employees. And if that was not enough, um, in their first video they dropped last week, they openly uh, state, we are opposing the political drift to the left in Germany, courageously, powerfully and resolutely. We fight for freedom, security and prosperity. Our mission is a bourgeois Germany. Do you need to know more? A bourgeois Germany. 
they are brazen about it. Now, uh, bourgeois is, in this case, a translation for bürgerlich. Bürgerlich can also be translated with civic, but I think in order to make their intent more clear, I more well, people should use the uh, translation bourgeois in this case. Um, they also already essentially started three um, agendas. Um, the first one is um, a campaign against gendered language. So they don't want gender neutral or gender inclusive language. They want to continue to have a masculine first language be the normality in the use of the German language. Uh, since that is the greatest concern, as uh, studies have shown, while the CDU CSU has attacked the Green Party especially for this, the Greens did barely ever talk about gender language during the election campaign. It was mainly the CDU CSU. So it's justice in the United States when it comes to these social justice issues, while socially liberal groups and parties talk about them in order to vote signal as a way to actually appear as progressive while not really changing anything structurally. Uh, it's especially conservative and reactionary groups that react to that in over-the-top level and make it a co topic of conversation that otherwise nobody would actually care about. And another thing that they try to uh, fight is left-wing groups that want to take over education. So that is very reminiscent of the uh, critical race theory uh, scare Republican groups in the United States are fomenting right now. And so they for attack anti-racism in schools here, which, wow, you're openly pro-racism, essentially, if you say that we don't want to teach our children anti-racism. So what else do you want them to be taught? Racism? Uh, and so they already took a stance against uh, something like the Ame Amadeo Antonio Foundation, which is an anti-racism and anti-anti-Semitism foundation. They also took a stance against pro-democracy groups that especially work in Eastern Germany. And this makes it all the more concerning. Voices from the more liberal wing of the TUTs who have also tried to distance themselves from this, but... Um, with prominent members like Merz in uh, leadership or in support of this group and a powerful group like the uh, Mittelstandsunion also apparently in support of this group, it's questionable uh, if this opposition from the more liberal and moderate wing of the group can succeed. It's also questionable. They also want to reach out to the FDP, but not the AfD, if the FDP is going to actually uh, respond to this, considering that on a federal level, the FDP is now going to go into a traffic-like coalition with the SPD and the Green Party, and this group clearly loves to fear more about the SPD and the Green Party. So this can also be read as an attempt to already destabilize the incoming uh, government coalition, maybe in hopes of dividing it and leading to new elections prior to 2025. Um, I don't know if that's um, a good th if that's going to work out, but uh, I hope not. Also, the group is apparently not a big fan of groups like Fridays for Future, uh, Greenpeace, uh, Deutsche Umwelthilfe, and so on and so forth. So they are not fans on, of the environmental movement and want to oppose that as well. And this might actually be also one of the reasons why Merz is so in support of them, since Merz is one of the leaders of the Wirtschaftsunion, a lobby group um, that exist officially outside of the CDU CSU but acts like a party uh, group within the party and they even more so than the Mittelstandsunion is pro big business and they are also heavily involved in the so-called Azerbaijan connection and that's a topic for a whole other video uh, so they are in favor of the continuation of 
fossil fuels being bought on a massive scale by Germany and used on a massive scale in Germany. So they obviously are not fans of the environmentalist movement. And with this group wanting to oppose the environmentalist movement, it's clear what um, why this group might support uh, the Republic. So, yeah, uh, not great news. This is a shift to the right, or at least that is what this group wants, a political shift to the right. They want German politics to become more like politics in the UK and the US. That means even more pro-business, uh, more reaction, norm normalizing more reactionary social and cultural politics and more patriotism or better say nationalism and I just hope they fail and the truth is we have to work hard for them to fail because as we have seen especially in the United States these kinds of groups will get a lot of money from big business interests to push this kind of agenda in the name of big business. And that is a major threat to democracy.